Today we're going to do the two-point discrimination, which is um, helps determine the ability to discern the difference between one or two points, and it relates to the client's ability to um, determine if they are what they are feeling. And um, so we will instruct the client to uh, lay their hand in a comfortable position. You do not want to touch the client because it might uh, mess up with the, the test. Um, so you want to support the hand of the client on the table and then you will ask the client to um, either look away or uh, you will ask them to close their eyes. And, um, so um, <clears throat> Elizabeth, we're going to, um, I'm going to have you close your eyes and uh, I want you to tell me if you're feeling one point or two points. We normally would start with a five millimeter, which is uh, slightly less than the six, which is usually the normal, um, because um, it allows us to um, have a good uh, starting point, a good baseline. So we'll begin with the five. And as um, they tell you um, if they can feel the five millimeters or not, you would if they can feel the five millimeters, you would have them uh, move to then you would move to a four and a three and a two and so forth. Um, and you would ask them whether they feel one point or two points. We will begin with a five millimeter, and I will ask Elizabeth to tell me if she feels one point or two points. Ready? Two points. One. 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 Okay, and you would keep proceeding uh, the same way. So now we know that she can feel five, we will move to four. Oops, sorry, I was thinking. <laughs> one. One. If, if she couldn't feel five, then we would uh, move to six and seven. And each, um, each point on the discriminator uh, is widened for each one. So um, the wider the points become, the higher the numbers. So um, we would go. It goes up to eight. If the person couldn't feel eight, then there's also another discriminator which goes to nine, ten, and so forth and so on. The main point is that you want to um, determine uh, how much uh, sensory uh, sensory ability that they have in the, in their fingers.